Welcome back to another episode of Dark Games, where we are continuing Little Hope. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Oh, don't throw it to me. <laughs> Just break her phone. That would suck. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Hell no. Secrets. A w, bitch. So I need to find a knife. Ritual blade. I need yeah, that's going to need to be found. Ooh, what? Minister looking into witchcraft. I mean, I'm of the nature that all religion is witchcraft in one way or the other. Hello? Anyone but there? I'm, I'm not dissing. I like being religious or anything. It's a lot of flashlights. No! You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming.
Angela. Angela. Talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? You talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy. What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Cobb, the one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors of Mary's doing. She's a troubled child, for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. We'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Now, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. I know. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Priest, the one from the playground. I, I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in little hope. Holy shit. I got the same feeling when I met my double. They all fear the devil is coming for them. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Who is your really double? screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh shit, here we go. I thought it was a firehouse. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. 
Who am I? Am I John or... No, I'm Andrew. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. There's got to be something. Keep looking. No. Well, maybe. It doesn't have arrows. Fucking thing. I thought this was our way out. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. 
thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. I, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Huh? That. Dear fucking oh, God. Still no cable attached. What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. Okay, cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. I'm on it. Tell me exactly where you are. Are, are you are you in town someplace? God. Oh, hey, there she is. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. Fucking have an understanding. Creepy ass no, pastor. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about I will come to you in the black of some terror. Are you hurting this child? I bring a reckoning that will shut you Fucking Catholics. Begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God. I am innocent of all accusations against me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. Just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best, will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Let us conclude. 
conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. child. You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please! <laughs> Master, can I help you now? It is too late. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. Yo, if she was really possessed, she would not be smiling right there. That is all a fucking fake. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? Faking. I think she was faking. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge, or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn door! We can't either! They must be locked! Kick the fucking door Let's down. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, no, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, Joss? What's bugging you? We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, we've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts, and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. 
We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? So, what we did here, here. This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. It definitely looks like something. Bus driver got locked up. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, I, I, I see what that's saying. Okay, remember how... Uh, one of the prem premonitions was... One of us picked up a gun. Tilly Johnson. Taylor, you need to see this. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? Let's move on, I guess. Um, but yeah, so you remember how one of them was... Yeah, you picked up a gun? Well, remember how the last one where a lot of the things in the last game were all mind games? They were all hallucinations? But the thing that I'm aiming at isn't what I think it is. And so I end up killing somebody and going to jail. Water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Nope. Damn straight. Definitely not. Okay. Who's first up? Hmm. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll... we'll get you over for sure. That was so assuring.
My God. What do we do? We can't stay here. Year of our Lord 1692. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for oh, us all. Little Orp is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by a cue. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very face. Isaac. Okay, so Angela 2 died. Does that cause Angela 1 to die? What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. Okay. Why is she mad at me? John explained Angela. But yeah, in the last game, one of Ryan lied to people to spare them, spare their feelings. Or hid things to spill their mentality. I got punished as well. D d f fuck this game. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. actually <laughs> looks like it's time to start another episode so i will catch y'all in the next one